good morning in the last class we look about short wave diathermy so this class let us begin with the my uh, microwave diathermy so microwave diathermy is the second diathermy technique which is used for therapeutic application so first uh, let us look about what about the microwave frequency range so in the case of microwave diathermy unit this diathermy unit operates or generate the frequency ranges in microwave range so what about this microwave ranges maybe from 300 to 300000 megahertz which can have a wavelength of 10 mm to 1 mm but however the most commonly used the microwave frequency range is 2450 megahertz which can have a wavelength of 12.25 cm okay first why should we go for this microwave diathermy because already there is a short wave diathermy is developed so we, that is the patient can be treated with the help of the short wave diathermy but however the microwave is developed that is due to some disadvantages may exist with the short wave so what are those disadvantages and then how it can be overcome with the help of the microwave diathermy that is what we are going to see next so let us recall the short wave diathermy so in the case of short wave diathermy as far as the frequency is concerned that is every equipment its stand alone frequency is there that is for some particular area to be treated we may require a high frequency current for some of the area we may require low frequency current so as far as the frequency is concerned the short wave diathermy has its own stand alone frequency range it will operate similarly the microwave can also has its own frequency range we can operate that unit with that frequency so as far as frequency is concerned there is no comparison between these two but in the case of a short wave diathermy here the two circuits were employed so one circuit which is used to generate a particular frequency the another circuit is mainly a patient circuit which means here the patient can be used as a part of the circuit in order to deliver the heat which means that is the patient leg can be used as a portion of the circuit with the help of the pad that is we apply which means now the patient is leg is used to form a dielectric medium similarly in the case of an inductive method that is to wrap around the cable here the patient leg is used that is in order to establish or create the magnetic field here it is used which means the patient is used as a part of the circuit in the case of an short wave diathermy so this is a very big disadvantage with this method so now the microwave diathermy is developed to overcome this disadvantage only which means now here the patient is not going to use as a part of the circuit so instead with the help of an emitter emitter moreover director reflector and as well as an applicator with the help of these the microwave what we produce is going to apply straight away to the tissues so how it is going to apply so here the emitter is basically which is used to emit which means that is emit the electromagnetic waves because here it is a microwave microwave is nothing but an electromagnetic wave so here one emitter is required basically it can be an antenna just to radiate 
so the radiated wave form now is going to be direct to the particular tissue so here one director that that can be used and then the reflector is nothing but what the director is used to direct whereas the reflector is going to provide that energy to the particular tissue and then the applicator how it is going to be applied okay so here in the case of microwave dithermy these are the most important so now this is the going to be used for the replacement of the patient circuit in the case of a short wave dithermy unit so now here applicator also here there are two types of applicators are employed so one is a circular applicator the other one is a rectangular applicator which means the generated microwave now is going to be applied to the tissues with the help of the circular applicator which means circular in shape so here it produce that is it can have a high energy over the periphery than the center so in the center which may contain low here it is a high energy whereas in the case of the rectangular which can have rectangular in shape in shape so here it is a uniform energy distribution is take place in the case of a rectangular so depend on the application of the tissue that is either we can choose a circular or otherwise a rectangular so this is the main thing this is a major difference between the short wave and as well as the microwave or otherwise we can call these are the extra equipmental setup happen in order to overcome the certain disadvantages exist with the short wave dithermy unit so now the short uh, in addition to this that is here the microwave is employed so in general the microwave lies between a infrared and as well as the short wave so its frequencies generally lies or the range operating range lies between these two so which means the microwave can be penetrate more than the infrared but it is lesser than the short wave dithermy okay but as far as in the medical field is concerned either we can use short wave or we can use a microwave but better results we can able to obtain only with the help of the microwave why because already the depth of penetration of the microwave is lesser than the short wave so most probably what the short wave will be preferred but however the microwave will be preferred that is because of it is a more the results are better why the results are here it is better is because it is due to the microwave absorption so the heat here it is produced by the absorption of the microwave so that the results here can be better so how the absorption of the microwave is varying the absorption of the microwave is varying that is with highly water content and then with low fluid low fluid is nothing but low water content so the tissues where it has more water content which means which can absorb more microwave so because of the absorption of the more microwave now here the heat produced can also be more similarly the tissues with having low water content for example here it is a fat so what happen the absorption is here it is microwave absorption is less because of less absorption that is there is a less, a less heat produced so the microwave is mostly suitable or the better results that we can able to obtain when there is a more blood supply in a particular vessel or muscles so where there is a muscle with higher 
blood supply that place we can use the microwave instead of using the short wave diathermy so that is the most another important aspect compared to the short wave so now next these are the impact that is why we should go for a microwave so the next let us look about how first microwave can be basically produced and then how it is being utilized for the diathermy unit so now first how a microwave here can be produced so that is first production of the microwave so how the microwave can be produced that you may be studied in um, rfn microwave subjects i think the uh, people you may be having in the next semester for coming semester so that is why just i am giving uh, the overlook of how the microwave can be produced with, with the help of an any device so now basically the microwave is being produced with the help of an magnetron it can also be produced with the help of klystron so on so but the magnetron is preferable okay so now what about the structure of the magnetron so the structure of the magnetron is magnetron have a cylindrical cathode so this is the cathode of the magnetron then this cathode is surrounded by that is anode these are called as an anode that is called cavity anode so which means between the anode and then cathode there is a intervening air space is there this is basically the 2d representation of your 2d representation of your magnetron so now with the help of this magnetron how the microwave here can be produced that is what we are going to see now so in the case of an magnetron can generally the microwave range can be produced with a high frequency currents only okay so that high frequency current it can be varied from some 300 to 750 megahertz current so with the help of that we can because only this high frequency current can able to produce that much a high frequency wave form from the magnetron so generally it requires a very high frequency current so here it is an cathode and then here it is an anode if there is an anode and then cathode we have to provide that is the anode supply and as well as the cathode supply in order to stimulate the electron movement from the cathode to anode so this is the basic theory behind that suppose if you give a very high voltage at the cathode say 4000 volt or it is a 1000 volt then that is there will be a collision of an electron so what it will happen naturally it can be attracted by an anode so now if uh, that is all electrons now can be move towards the anode so this is basic theory but now how this theory is being utilized to produce the microwave so that is what we have to see so in any one of the slots or even in the all this all slots that is in the internal cavity that is under this there will be with the help of the rod now we are going to apply some magnetic field that is just imagine this diagram with a 3d here there are cavities so under the cavity in any one of the anode cathode space we are now trying to induce the magnetic field so the magnetic field is now applied so the moment we apply the magnetic field what will happen there may be a lateral force so due to these lateral force what will happen that is already the electrons are now already attracted by anode so the movement is here from cathode to anode now after application of the magnetic field there is a lateral force so now this tend to 
change its direction. Lateral line as it is just perpendicular to this. So now the electron movement and that is in the form of like this. So now what happens when you increase this magnetic field more and more? So now what will happen? Like this. In all the cavities. Okay. So now that is the movement now will become rotation like. Okay. So what happens when you increase this more and more? Finally, that is the movement of electrons now will be in the form of the circle in the air space. That is the intervening air space between the cathode and anode. Now here, yeah, very high movement of an electron. So which means now at the central cathode, now with the help of a, any emitter or any director, now we are going to pick up these waves. Now when you pick up this, now it can be produced as a microwave. So because of here the collisions are more and then the lateral forces are more now that is the uh, high frequency current here produced will also be more. So now it which can fall and fall into the microwave ray thus a microwave is produced. So with the help of proper director and then reflector now this can be applied to the human. So in the case of microwave diathermy unit the magnetron play a vital role because the magnetron is the element which is used to generate the microwave. So now let us see how these generated microwave are going to be applied, uh, sorry, are going to be used to uh, used for the treatment. So now the diathermy unit, the part of the diathermy unit is nothing but a magnetron. So how the magnetron is now being controlled according to the situation requirement that is what we are going to see now. So the magnetron circuit is, so first from the main, so this is supply voltage from the main. These are called high frequency suppression filter where it is almost the high frequency noises here can be eliminated with the help of these filters. Okay, so this is just a switch and as well as fuse. These are all mainly for the safety purposes. Because the other end of this diathermy unit is going to have a direct contact with the human subject. So that just for the safety purpose, here the fuse and switches are connected. Then from the secondary the patient side circuit is used. So here this is another switch. So with the help of this switch, now the fan in the magnetron is being controlled directly.
so now in the circuit diagram this is called the magnetron so first so in the diatomy unit the first circuit is a safety circuit correct safety circuit starting now book is first so the first circuit is a safety circuit so in the safety circuit the first sum of the filter high frequency suppression filter used to eliminate the high frequency noise 781 781 page high frequency noise then that is the magnetron generally may get more heated so because of the production of the microwave because of the production of the microwave the magnetron may get 781 krupana 781 ah adu kadathu next ah ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சர்க்கியூட் நான் என்ன போட்டேன் டிலே சர்க்கியூட் நான் என்ன ட்ரான்ஸ் சர்க்கியூட் ஓகே சரி ஓகே சோ இந்த கேஸ் ஆஃப் அன் மேக்னட்ரான் தட் இஸ் தி ஹீட் மோர் ஹீட் மே பீ प्रोड्यूस्ड because of so the first sorry first circuit is a delay circuit which mainly involved with the magnetron circuit so now what happened the magnetron is going to produce a very high frequency waveform so that the more heat here now can be produced so for in order to produce a more heating first it must have some of warm up time so for the warm up time it requires from 3 to 4 minutes so only after the 3 to 4 minutes if you provide the anode supply then only we can able to generate a very high frequency uh, waveform that is a waveform in the uh, range of microwave range so that so the first is the delay circuit so it provides a delay of 3 to 4 minutes so after the 4 minutes with the help of the lamp that is which can indicate that the device is ready so the device ready is nothing but just providing the warm up time for the magnetron okay so that is the first delay circuit so in the delay circuit so the enough warm up time after that it is provided then the magnetron circuit the main operation here it is involved with so the filament receives the current directly from the main so here also it is passes through a filter so it is used to eliminate the high frequency noises here so now the magnetron that is we have to provide a supply so that is the anode supply how it is provided with the help of this one so this circuit arrangement so now it drives the supply from the main and then the timing circuit so the timing circuit already i said nothing but a delay circuit which is which will provide the warm up time so after the warm up time with the help of this resistance now this can be enabled so suppose if there is any fault occur on the other side which means when the subject is continuously exposing with the microwave range there may be a tissue damage so at that time what will happen now with the help of this fuse it can be disconnected from that that is the enough amount of time now will be provided by the timing circuit with the help of these resistance then after that so once the anode supply now can be provided via the triode valve only so here there are two triodes so this circuit 
setup is nothing but rectifier circuit so it is a full way rectifier circuit then followed by a voltage doubler so it can be operated into a half wave mode and as well as the full wave mode so whenever we require a continuous mode of operation so at that time we can use full wave rectifier suppose if it is a pulse mode of operation we prefer it can be operated with the half wave rectifier the voltage doubler is nothing but just to provide a high amount of voltage that is for providing a sufficient amount of energy so the next is the series resistance generally the series resistance is used to limit the current only so used to limit the anode supply current so now here the anode supply is given and then filament heating current is also provided so what will happen now the magnetron with the help of the cavity which can provide a yeah, the high amo, high uh, my, uh, high frequency current in the range of a microwave range so now here because of the generation of the high frequency here magnetron may get heated that is more heat so in order to cool down here the fan is being directly controlled from the main so now this is used to cool the magnetron then this is director so now with the help of the director we are going to direct all these microwave produced by the magnetron to the reflector and then reflector to now the applicator so the applicators can be of any medium as we said early either it can be rectangular or otherwise a circular it all depend on the uh, type of the tissue that we are going to use so that's all about the production of the microwave and then it can be applied to the human subject so that's all about the microwave diathermy unit so the next uh, third type of diathermy unit is nothing but an ultrasonic diathermy unit so apart from short wave and then microwave the third type of diathermy unit is ultrasonic diathermy unit so which means this diathermy unit is operating under ultrasonic frequency so it is not ultrasonic basically frequency it is a ultrasonic vibration so that is the most important thing in the previous case the heat is produced heat is applied in order to treat some lesions the nerve lesions or muscle lesions whereas here the ultrasonic vibrations are produced with the help of this diathermy unit so the main important application of these diathermy unit is nothing but yeah it is mainly produce a yeah, massage so generally the massage can be done just uh, manually by a hand then why should we develop unnecessarily for this purposes because always the physical effort may not be comfort with the subject because sometimes when the massage is takes place by a hand there may be a pain or even not only a pain the additional thing is that is the massage may not be able to reach the deeper tissues the massage which is being handled by a hand may not be reach the deeper tissues and also sometimes it may induce the pain so in order to avoid these case these things we are going for electronic type massage technique so that can be implemented with the help of the ultrasonic diathermy unit because it produce the vibration so the vibration will give a massage to the tissues so now what about the frequency range here can be used so the here the ultrasonic frequency range is in general it is a 1 megahertz so the ultrasonic here it is can be produced with the help of the main only so in the suppose for example say 100 hertz 100 hertz main frequency which means the 50 hertz main frequency converted it into 100 hertz this 100 hertz main frequency now 
with the help of some modulation techniques that is it can be converted it into a 1 megahertz range but generally the operating range now can be varied from 800 kilohertz to 1 megahertz frequency range but what about the power consumption here it is the power consumption can be varied from 0 to 3 watts per centimeter square okay so here also there is no tuning is required as we did in the short wave diathermy because short wave diathermy depend on the area to be treated that is manual tuning is necessary but here the no tuning is necessary because here we are going to control this tuning with respect to the frequency that is we may increase the frequency range by increasing the frequency range we can change the depth of the penetration so that the manual tuning here does not require so only the automatic tuning here can be controlled okay so even nowadays most of the diathermy unit that is ultrasonic diathermy unit are equipped with a dosage tabulator which means that is the dosage level is listed depend on the area to be treated or depend on the disease or type of the lesions that what we are going to treat so that is nowadays the equipments are equipped with a dosage tabulator so just by going through the dosage tabulator we can able to control over the frequency range and then the duration and as well as the intensity so how the dosage uh, here can be controlled that is by changing the frequency of the ultrasound and then the duration of the ultrasound and also intensity of the ultra sound so what is the effect of the frequency changes here it is suppose say for example 1 megahertz ultrasound frequency range so when it is passes through your tissue that is it can passes up to 5 cm depth okay so even after 5 cm depth only that is there will be a 50% reduction in its efficiency which means in the superficial layer of the tissue the same 1 megahertz with a proper intensity now what happen the tissues can be absorb the entire amount but at the same time when this 1 megahertz signal is passes to the deeper lying tissue there will be a reduction of 50 percentage energy which happened at 5 cm for the 1 megahertz signal so that is suppose if you increase the frequency range that is 3 megahertz so for this 3 megahertz even at 1.5 cm itself there will be a reduction of a 50 percentage energy happen in 3 megahertz signal okay so now the next step how these so these are the frequency ranges and then what are the constraints so how basically the ultrasonic frequency can be applied so before uh, we look about the application of an ultrasonic let us look about the ultrasonic diathermy unit that is basically how these ultrasound uh, sorry ultrasonic vibrations can be produced so this is a very simple unit because only the constraint here it is an ultrasound vibrations that we have to produce so the vibrations can be produced in general just with the help of the crystals alone so piezo electric crystals here are used so first here it is from the main with the help of the fuse it is connected to the first timer circuit so the timer is generally used to control over the circuit that is proper delay where it is required that is when it is to be produced it can be decided by a timer circuit only then after that voltage control 
power and voltage control. So based on the in signal received from the timer, which means the timer will energize or make the circuit to be ready for the use. Only that's all. So that is the control is being taken care by the timer circuit. Then immediately power and voltage control. This power and voltage control is mainly used to activate the triodes only because here the ultrasound wave can be produced either with the help of half wave rectified mode or otherwise and full wave rectified mode. So let us see what is the main usage of this half wave and then full wave rectifier later. So the first basic thing here it is in the heart of this microwave sorry heart of this ultrasonic therapy unit is an oscillator only. So this oscillator will generally produce a high frequency oscillator. This high frequency oscillator output is provided to the power amplifier in order to generate a high power then this is applied to a piezoelectric crystal. So now let us begin from here. So it is an oscillator circuit. So the oscillator without having any input it can generate a frequency. So let us assume that this oscillator has capable of producing a 1 megahertz signal. So this 1 megahertz signal is being amplified with the help of the power amplifier. So a high power output that we can able to obtain. Then with the help of this high power output we can activate the piezoelectric crystal. This is one thing. Then this oscillator receives a signal from half wave rectifier and as well as the full wave rectifier. So the purpose of using the half wave and as well as the full wave rectifier is either to use this ultrasonic diathermy unit in the continuous mode or otherwise than pulsed mode only. So if we want to use it in a continuous mode, we can connect this with full wave or otherwise in the pulsed mode, we can go for the half wave rectifier. But in the half wave and then full wave rectifier, mostly here, these are constructed with the help of the triode. So triodes 